back to the podcast. Today we are going to make cream sickles. All you really need is two ingredients. You can use Sun Kiss Zero and, excuse my voice, gone after a day of golfing and celebrating when it's $10 for me. <laughs> <laughs> 50 bucks more specifically. Yeah. I, I like to celebrate small victories. Okay. <laughs> so we get Sun Kiss Zero and Whipped Baca. Super simple drink. I like it. It reminds me of the uh, Flintstones Push Pops. Absolutely amazing. The or, best Push Pops. Um, or like that orange sherbet, but yeah. creamsicle. If you have a little pour spout, you do a four count. If not, it's a one, two, <laughs> One, two, this lane's in. Yeah, I was about to say, that looks like a significant Maybe a one, more. two, three counter. Yeah. Simple, top it off with sun kissed. It's delish. And we're gonna top both of these off. Super simple drink. Oh, that worked. Yeah. Sweet. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna give it a little splash in the bigger cup. Cha-cha-cha. And that's it, man. We're gonna drink cream sickles and hope you enjoy it. See you on the podcast. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, the drink of choice today is the Flintstone Push Pop, but in alcoholic form because we're adults. And yeah. uh, nice little orange dream sickle cream sickle yeah, flavor. Y- you're an '80s baby, and I'm a '90s baby. I was yeah. born in '93. You were born in '80 uh, something. Uh, 18, guess 80. It. Eighteen. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so what we were doing is we were trying to figure out how to get my phone synced up with the Rodecaster Pro because the video for today is supposed to go out and Logan's going to call me to set the video live so the behind the scenes can go out. And so what we do or what we did was I had the phone connected to the Bluetooth setting. The Bluetooth setting is good. So all I got to do is whenever Logan calls us, it'll come through on the podcast and you guys should hear it. So. And for those of you like that just joined or whatever that don't know SML from shit, mm-hmm. <clears throat> when he says the video is supposed to go out today, it's the SML video, yeah. like not our video. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So hopefully Logan calls in during the podcast, yeah, because we, we, we can blast him, 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 yeah, live. <laughs> so this ought to be good. I wonder if if he can hear both microphones, like how clear the quality is. Yeah, I'm curious because I know like yeah. through the headphones because you did like Echo, a yeah. yeah. I don't know. We did a uh, a little little yeah. test drive. I, don't, I wonder if we can have an autism call and see if she could figure it out. Texture and yeah. see. Yeah, and I think she's in the shower right now because we just yeah. went golfing. So, and on that note too, by all means, my sinuses again, Florida, fucked. <laughs> I don't have COVID. I'm not contagious. Like seriously, I am just nasally as fuck. So no other way to put it. But yeah. Uh, I'm telling her when she gets out of the shower to call me. And when I said, you get like, done dropping deuces. Yeah, you'll be on the podcast. Yeah. Like, call us from the throne. Yeah. That'd call us, like, say something funny. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put her on the spot and be like, one, two, three, tell me a joke. See yeah. what she comes up with. Right I'm going to do it. She didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to say, call me? Yeah, I said, hey, when you get out of the shower, call me. Uh, it's, it's as a test, and you're going to be on the podcast. Oh wow! That's, that's all I said. Oh. So <clears throat> when she calls me, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, nice. thanks, babe. Uh, by the way, tell me a joke. You're oh, on the spot. You're on the spot. Nice. Now, if you don't say a joke, then you're gonna be fucked. Very nice. That's gonna be so funny. I can't wait. I hope. I, oh, I hope it goes well yeah. because I'm I'm scared <clears throat> that it's not going to come through the roadcast. I mean, I have I have the level set. The Bluetooth I, is yeah, on. I, I think we're I wouldn't. think we're fucked. Yeah. I think we're solid. I don't think it. Like, yeah. I think it's going to go. I think it's an amazing, amazing feature that this thing has the Bluetooth mode. Yeah. That's why, like, if we ever need to show the fans, like, yeah. a, a like a TikTok or a video or whatever, yeah. the sound from my phone is going to go directly to that and directly <clears throat> onto the podcast. Like, right. it's going to be sick. Yeah. I think it's going to yeah. be good, too. Be and amazing. for those of you that are zooming in, I do have a cut on my knuckle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a cut on my knuckle. I got a cut on my arm. It's like, so perfect because we have orange sun-kissed Okay. Yeah. Not, oh, it just kind of everything <laughs> fell into place perfectly. You want to tell uh, them what you did? Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, so when we went to Hub Stacy's downtown, uh, there's a building right around the corner that has an amazing orange tree, mm-hmm. and these oranges were like this fucking big. voluptuous as yeah. shit. <clears throat> That's an adjective and for the Mad Libs. Yeah, we're looking up oh, at. Oh, it. Oh, oh. No, oh. we have on. Here we go. Let's see. What's up, babe? Are you there? Yeah, you just want me to call you? <laughs> okay, you're on the podcast. We we needed to make sure that the uh, the audio worked for if and when Logan calls for setting the video live. Yeah. Um. So now that you've test driven that, um, <clears throat> tell me a joke. 
Um, you have to you have to tell one because yeah. now like whatever you say, all the audio is coming through our headphones. So right. now you have to tell us a joke. You're on the spot. I can hear you too, Odd. If yeah. you can hear me, can, can you hear him? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I can hear him. Like how how good? Yeah. Like is it like perfect or is it just like immediate? Yeah, I mean it was just like as if he was like buzzing the phone call. <sighs> Fuck yeah! All right, tell us a joke. Yeah. Um. Any anyone that you've been sitting on for a minute that you're just like, oh, put that in my repertoire. <laughs> Uh, that's a good word for me being semi drunk. Yeah. Repertoire. That's, um, that's, yeah. that's going to be a noun on it's the map. Rolling the tongue. <laughs> Please don't make it a noun. I don't know how to spell. I don't that. know how to spell repertoire. <laughs> yeah. oh I'd spell God. reptar like rugrats. Repertar. <laughs> Retard. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Spell it right. Get oh, that joke on. Oh God. Um, Pull out your ass. Anything. Knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Colin. I'm gonna hang up on you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? The, that was a half-ass knock knock. Did you just ask a question? Yeah. yeah. How much have you had to drink? <laughs> do, do we have alcohol water? coming through the shower? Oh my god. If so I need to no, take a shower okay, right now. Ready? Well, we got a joke okay. for you. I think she's just looking him up now. Yeah. Knock knock. Okay. What's up? Where? I'll say. I'll say who? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what does a deaf gynecologist do? Okay, read lips. I already know that. God damn oh, it. Matthew may not have known that. Oh, <laughs> you had me. I was like, fuck. Is this in Mad Libs or what? No, it's so funny story about that. All right, love you yeah. a lot, honey. We just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that was, that was, you, you, that was co- comedic plagiarism, but it's okay. You need to cite your source. Right. Tell everyone that I said that. I, did, I didn't know if you put on the spot to tell a joke. No, that was the whole funny part. We had a whole conversation about that before we even we called did. you or before yeah. you called us. Uh, well, I didn't have anything lined up. I'm hanging up on you. Love you a lot. Bye. So, <laughs> so um, when she was doing her oh. women's health preceptor for yeah. her uh, nurse practitioner thing, um, the uh. gynecologist or OBGYN slash gynecologist, I told her that joke. I said, what does a deaf gynecologist do? Mm. Read lips. And so I told her, I said, you need to tell him that joke. And she's oh, like, fuck. okay, I will. Um, <clears throat> I just have to wait until like she's been there for, yeah. to like to read the room, you know, to yeah. see if he'd get offended. But he is so like, He's so fucking hilarious. Yeah, that he did. He like it. Oh he, oh, he died. It was yeah. amazing. Nice. And uh, there was a. <laughs> uh, so what Audrey does is at the end of all her uh, clinicals, mm-hmm. like for the season or for the semester or whatever, she gives the preceptor a gift, and uh, she got him a coffee mug. Oh god. Oh man. Oh what what? How did? <sighs> Hold on, I'm not gonna call her back. Hold on. I gotta figure out what it said because yeah. the the mug was super funny. So the fast forward too, by the way, my hands, um, there's a big orange tree. Everyone wanted orange and uh-huh. I was a fucking superhero. Hey, what did the mug say that you got for your gynecology preceptor? Oh, it says, um, his name, doctor, his name, and then, um, at your cervix. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Love you a lot. Bye. So <clears throat> it's, so his name was, uh, for the sake of the podcast, his name was Dr. A, there like go. Dr. A. At your cervix. Nice. Instead of like at your service. That's what it was. At your cervix. Yeah. At your cervix. Like yeah. <laughs> he thought it was funny. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, like Matthew was saying, uh, Hub Stacy's, picture of the sandwich coming yeah. in hot because we told Amazing. you we'd do that. Yeah. And then uh, around the corner was an orange tree and Matthew, take it from there. Yeah. So this orange tree, I didn't know that orange trees had uh, thorns that were fucking this big. <laughs> yeah. Four inch spike. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking up, I'm like, Everyone wanted an orange, and they're like this big. I'm like, oh fuck, I got this. I love to climb trees. I got this, no yeah. problem. Yeah. So I start just grabbing through the branches, and I'm like getting fucking stuck. Mm. This bam, scratch, stuck, 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 stuck. And I'm like, god damn it, I can buy an orange now. Like <laughs> now it's cheaper. Yeah, and you're not like, gonna get tetanus. This is bullshit. <laughs> so I was like, all right, last chance. I'm just gonna shake the f- out of the tree. <clears throat> Strange man walks up. He wants an orange also. <laughs> and I'm shaking the tree. He <laughs> might be in the video. Yeah. I, if, yeah, if yeah that let's take a video. Yeah. We have a video, so we'll yeah. play that. After so he's I'm, done I'm the shaking story. the piss out of this tree. Two oranges fall. And he's like, oh man, you got oranges. And I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. 
<laughs> one's for you. We did this together. Yeah. Like, and so I, and the orange looked beautiful. Yeah. It was bright orange. Looked amazing. Looked ripe. It looked like it, how it was supposed to. Right. But then I it, opened it, it and it was really like mushy. Mm-hmm. And I just was like, <clears throat> and oh, God damn. It was so fucking bitter. <laughs> My whole mouth went like dry. Like it was like, oh. Bleh. So I set it back down in the bushes and I was like, <laughs> well, leave that there. That was the worst orange. It was not worth getting cut up by. Mm. Oh, what do you think horrible. was wrong with it? Like, it, it, like, cause I don't know that you could have left it there any longer. I mean, you probably no. could have, so, but then it would rot. And so um, how, where do you draw the line? So, and I was looking it up online whenever we left. And mm. some orange trees are just known for really bitter oranges. Yeah. I don't know if it's the soil or the type of tree. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a, an orange that big. Mm. And it was, like, fucking perfect. Like, yeah. you would buy it in a store... But it was mushy and so goddamn bitter. I was like, oh, it it made all of this go dry. <laughs> and like, yeah, I couldn't take it. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Because usually, like, <clears throat> I, I've only seen orange trees either at, like, Lowe's or Home Depot that you could plant yourself. Mm-hmm. But this one was like a, it seemed like it's been there for a long, obviously yeah. it's been there for a long time. Yeah. Because, it was because big that, as shit. Yeah, that bitch was huge. Yeah. So... I was like, how long did it have to be there? And how many shitty oranges <coughs> has it produced in its lifetime? Yeah. How many people ended up like me, <laughs> g- like bloody as f- and just grabbing an orange going, oh my God, this looks amazing. Mm. Blah. Yeah. And just eating shit. Maybe that's what's wrong mm. with your voice. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably what happened, man. Like I am fucking feeling like shit. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, yeah, so here's a little video. We'll, what we'll do is we'll cut the clip and we'll play the video of Matthew playing in the orange tree and getting an orange and test driving that so you guys can see that. And we'll see you in about three seconds. One, two, three, send it. Matthew got him an orange. Got an orange on my orange tree. We throw these, we can get more. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of them up there. That's called a, that's called a dividend if you throw that one up there and they get, bring you more. It is a juicy oh, orange. Oh, sweet. Very. What do you have, That's That's the juiciest juicy. orange I've ever seen in my life. You climb up there. They're the really rock. big, like, <laughs> thorns. That's the best uh, time to climb. We've been drunk all day trying to solve our murder. <laughs> we still haven't solved. Oh, Ooh, that's bitter. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're bitter? quite ripe. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> it's not that's ready yet. Don't. Yeah, I probably did. Oh, they're oh, really big thorns in that tree. Don't your shirt. No. Very tangy. Great. Now that that's done, uh, <laughs> now we're going to get into our Mad Lib so we can actually get that going for you guys. We'll go straight to Mad Libs or we're going to talk about golfing today? Or is that after Mad Libs? <sighs> we can do that after Mad Libs. Okay. Because we had a whole clip. I don't know. I, I have to see how long the golf clips fun. are because the golf clips might be its own little separate vlog that I can just upload Ooh. to. Yeah, yeah, that's dangerous. Good too. Yeah. So, Take those um, out. Yeah, so after we did the the little orange thing, you guys just watched that. Now what I'll do is if the video is eight minutes or longer of us golfing, then I'll make that its own separate vlog, and you guys will see that right after this podcast goes live. Now we're going to do Mad Libs, and then we'll talk about golfing today. (coughs) Uh, Let's see. Which one you got? Upside down Mad Libs. There we go. (laughs) Oh, Which one do I want? I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this pug one. No, I'm gonna go the bar. I'm gonna oh, go thank God. I thought he was gonna do the, the fucking family one right there. <laughs> These are the longest ones right there. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one you did yesterday and fucking nailed it. <laughs> this one is. This one's pretty decent. So much better. Yeah, this, this one's is long. Good. All right. Uh, let me see how many you got. Do, 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 do. I need a noun. All right. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Do you know who that is? Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask now. Does that work if I put that? If, if I put him? I'm going to use it down here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Instead I need, of, I need uh, a noun. To, oh, my God. There's so many nouns. I know. I want to I want to go. I want to, like, compete with you from yesterday. Yeah, do it. Use your imagination. If it's bad, I'll beep it. Wiener sucker. Noun. <laughs> Reindeer testicles. Mm, that's... Testicle, plural. I mean, singular. One, <laughs> one, one reindeer testicle on a one-horse open reindeer testicle. Any adjective? Blood covered. 
Mm. Why not? Verb ending in ing. Creaming. That's good. <laughs> I need a noun. There are so many nouns in this one. This is yeah. bad. This is rough. This is a rough nounage. Ball gag. I like ball gags. <laughs> Adverb. Hatefully. I need a noun. Wiener pimple. Oh, that's kind of rough. Something alive. Hitler. <laughs> is, he, is he still alive? Number. I'm Number. assuming a 69. You fucking right. Yeah. Just go ahead and put it down. Yeah. I I, I almost did. I literally yeah. almost did. I was like, no, maybe you maybe it's gonna my change it up. Favorite fucking number. Uh, noun. Horse teeth. Plural noun. Butt cracks. Adjective. Diarrhea covered. God damn. It's been one of those days. I need an adjective. Uh, one eternity later. Hmm. It only gets harder from here. That's what I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think oh, it goes. I'm trying to make it as good, but I, you know, I just gotta look slow. Yeah, to think nasty. I think yeah. like 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 adjective like cum filled or hairy or freshly shaven. Yeah. Like I'm just giving all the good ones here. <laughs> They're freshly shaven. Let's say nipple drainage. If you want to kill an adjective, go for it. Shit covered. Verb. Throat fucking or throat fucked. However, however it fits better in that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's got to be like that. Oh my god. Sometimes it got to be like that. Oh, for the record. Uh, this might help you, which is hilarious because you know how like sometimes you'll send me those TikToks or whatever, like drinking TikToks, and yeah. it's, they they say like random toasts, like if you can't come in or come on or type. Oh in. yeah, the name of this is called toasts. Oh, so oh, you're basically nice. creating your own toast here. Oh, well, <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> Whatever it is, at one of these, we have to read it like as our drink. Like, yeah. oh, can't. Hey, now, don't touch me there. That is my no-no square. <laughs> uh, adjective. Cherry popped. I need a verb. Fucked. I need a noun. Sex swing. Adjective. Butthole juice covered. Oh, man. Something to eat. Edible underwear. A person. Logan. Verb ending in ing. Asshole stretching. Is that an exercise? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> at what class? You have to keister at least uh, 12 golf balls. Oh, that's easy. Mm-hmm. That's just The Tuesday. goal being 18 because you need one golf ball per hole. Yeah, that's just a fucking Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Friday comes around. Right? <laughs> 36 balls. I yeah. uh, need a verb. Sucking. Plural noun. Anteater dicks. That sounds like a band name. I bet their nose that they use to eat the ants is longer than their actual male appendage that's worth a google i i kind of want to uh <laughs> i need a noun wiener head noun hippo dick i need a silly word a silly word mm-hmm. literally get to pull it out of your ass uh-huh. like i don't even want it to be in the dictionary gloop and <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh, beef curtain eater oh fuck yeah that's sick number three and a half you are done come on you have uh, four more i need I- a plural noun titty freckles <laughs> Adjective slime covered. All right. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> I'll write it for you. Uh adverb. Licking. Now I need a noun. So. Butthole. All right. You want to read? Oh, I forgot who read first. Uh, Do you want to read first? I read second okay, last time so because definitely first. you fucking nailed it last yeah. time. All right. This is the adult <clears throat> ad lib section and it's called toasts. So what are you are, are you reading first? Yeah. Yeah, are, are you with that? Or yeah, I don't care. You said you read second last time, yeah. Yeah. So we so then, I read first this time. Okay. Lance has been drinking since noon. Actually, we've all then. been drinking since. <laughs> you can't read, drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yeah, I read second last time, so when I read first, okay, this time. Yeah. yeah, go for it. I, fuck <laughs> me, I don't give a fuck. Oh my god! All right, what you got? <laughs> oh my god! Cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, today is show and tell. Oh, sick. Yeah. Today, I would like to show to class a reindeer testicle (laughs) I caught when I went creaming with my aunt. Oh, no. Must have been with Aunt Kim. Oh, must have. Has to be. Yeah. I had never fished before, but my aunt hatefully taught me how to bait a hook with a Hitler (laughs) and then how to cast the horse teeth into the diarrhea-covered lake. I throat fuck fishing. Uh (laughs) Hell yeah. That's how it goes. My name is Morgan Freeman, and I would like to show you to class this cherry popped sex swing from my mother's kitchen. 
<laughs> my mother uses it every morning to fix, <laughs> to fix my edible underwear. <laughs> it is also useful if you are into asshole stretching mm-hmm. or if you want to slice up some ant eater dicks. <laughs> <laughs> if you want one, you can buy it at your own local Hippo Dick store, only three and a half dollars. Three and a half dollars. That's, yeah, that's pretty fucking you're cheap. Pr- you're practically stealing it for that yeah. price. That's a, that's a solid price. That's it. You went creaming with your aunt. Tell me how that went for you. That's so off-putting. That sounds like a Pornhub video. The diarrhea-covered lake. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Adult Mad Libs. <clears throat> Toasts. Toast. Everybody likes to raise a wiener sucker and toast to the blood-covered couple. Birthday ball gag or wiener pimple and, and wife celebrating their anniversary of 69 years. But if you were asked to give a toast, there are butt cracks and etiquette you need to follow. Try to keep it shit covered. You don't want everyone to fuck off. A butthole shit covered anecdote can make a good toast. But know your audience. Stories about how Logan streaked on the lawn at Nipple Drainage University might (laughs) shock grandma. And don't suck too much before you make your wiener head. You could end up slurring your titty freckles or saying something slime covered. If you're nervous, try a simple beef curtain eater. And licking down your butthole in one gulp. Mm. (laughs) Sometimes you need to tongue it. Tongue it super duper hard. Gulp that butthole. Yeah, so that was our Mad Libs, yeah. and uh, yeah, so now let's talk about our golfing let's adventure, golf. because the last podcast, we were talking about how Michael Jordan was betting, like, how much was it per hole? Like 100 grand? Well, he had grand 500 whatever. grand in his golf bag, mm-hmm. so if you divide that by 18, that's 27,000 and some change a hole. Mm-hmm. Granted, they probably, you know, he didn't lose every fucking hole. Yeah. So it was probably like, I got 50 grand on this hole. Mm -hmm. I lose it, but I make it up on the next one. Yeah. You know, he had 50 grand in his fucking golf bag to bet. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But today, Matthew and I went out to Marcus Point. Or not 50 grand. I'm sorry. 500 grand. Why am I, why am I fucking downplaying this guy? He had 500,000. I thought you were meaning like per so, hole. Yeah. And then he 50 just grand like, per hole. Yeah. Then he yeah, fucked it that's up. That's what he's wanting to yeah. fucking play. 50, uh, yeah. 50 grand per hole is you know what he plays because he's yeah. fucking Michael Jordan. Because, because odds are like that's, even if it was 50 grand per hole, that's, that's still right. 10 holes. And exactly. so he, I know he didn't lose. And at that holes. point, yeah, he didn't lose fucking 10 yeah. straight. Yeah. But he has five hundred thousand in his golf bag. Yeah, willing to just like fuck it. I, I, that means he yeah. has more money in his bag than balls, and that's the exact yeah. opposite for us. We have more yeah. balls in our exactly. bag. Exactly. Like, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Matthew and I bet ten dollars per hole, and he ended up coming out fifty dollars over me. So he he took me for a ride, but it's all right. It's all right. I, I I played well the past or the last three holes. So uh, he 16, domed 17, it. 18. Yeah, he was fucking killing shots, and he actually has video of me. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt it. Yeah. I, felt I, it. I knew it. I was like, yeah. "Fuck, here we go for a ride." <laughs> Um, he actually has video of me. I could have took a drop ball and, and like spaced it out. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I felt it. I was like, ah, I know I won the past couple holes. Let's just fucking send it. Yeah. And I literally hit a tree and it went back and to the side. Like how I didn't break my club. I don't know, but it fucking pew. how you didn't give either one of us a concussion. I don't know. Yeah. Cause that, that was very dangerous that yeah. you could have like, boom, boom. Yeah. And I would have either taken a ball to the sack or a ball to the dome, but Hey, it like was that. worth it. No, it's funny. We were willing to take that chance and we did. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it was fun. God, yeah. Was so fun. if, uh, if the video is not like super duper long, then you guys will see that. In this podcast episode, if not, it's going to be uploaded like literally the next day, so you guys can see the the vlog of the golfing thing. But that's our that was our bet is uh, ten dollars per hole. So I didn't come out completely broke, and neither did Matthew. So yeah, no, we started off like I won, he won, we broke even. Mm -hmm. Uh, I won a few, he won, broke even. It was just a back and forth battle. Like we actually played decent doing that. Yeah. And I didn't lose that many balls. I think I think think we need to bet every time we go because we push each other. So like be better. 
Yeah, so what I say or what I paid you in yeah. money, I saved in golf balls. Fuck yeah, you did. Because other than that, I've yeah. been down like at least $50 in golf yeah. balls. Yeah. I mean, I so, honestly think I lost probably like three balls the entire fucking day. Mm-hmm. I mean, we played every. Yeah. <clears throat> even after like hitting it in the fucking bunker in the sand. I hate playing in the sand. I hate sand yeah. in my shoes. Mm-hmm. So hitting it out of the sandbox. And getting sand in my shoes, I, I fucking hate, but I did it because I did not want to fucking yeah, lose. Yeah. I was like, God damn it. Yeah. Thunk, here it is. Sand in my shoes, but I won 10 bucks. Yeah. One of the balls that I lost was the Titleist Pro V1 mm. uh, podcast edition. That's what I'm going to call it. And uh, <clears throat> I, I hit it and it went hard left. And I told Matthew, I was at hard left and it went wham and then yeah. it hit someone, someone's house. So that podcast ball is yeah. findable. At Marcus Point. So if you yeah. or someone you know lives in Marcus Point on, well, I think that was the 18th hole or 17th hole or something, something like that. It was yeah. on the way back. Um, Either way, if you I, find it. Yeah, if you find it. Make a video, tag yeah. us in it, because that's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, find it. I almost want to say, yeah, if you find the ball, let me know and I'll give you 100 bucks. Uh, absolutely. 100 bucks cash. Because, yeah. I one, I know it's going to make everyone – Talk about it. So yeah, and then if they do find it, at least hundred dollars will yeah. come down and yeah. take pictures. I want the ball back. It's a hundred yeah. bucks. There's only one out there, so I know if you're lying to me or not. Yeah, and go I, drop it out there behind your house so we can continue to play. Yeah. So yeah, I, I need to, I need to come back and play that one. So yeah, if if you guys have that ball or if you live on Marcus Point and you find it or whatever, and someone so happens to find this podcast, yeah. I'll give you a hundred dollars cash. I even I'll give it to you in ones, fives, tens, twenties, or just hundred dollar bill. Everyone. Quarters, yeah, or pennies. Yeah, if you want to go to a, a video arcade, I really want to. I really want to give it to you in pennies. Yeah. So, <laughs> good God. <laughs> because now, now, it, can you imagine <sighs> if someone does find it and they let us know, and then we uh, that would be an amazing podcast episode yeah. by itself. That'd be that'd be fucking amazing. They're gonna have to search the fuck yeah. out of there because you you fucking nailed a house. It's like I hit it left. It's like, damn, dude, you had a fucking house, and like, we're dropping. <laughs> As the way I see it, it's their fault. They they yeah. bought that house on the pod on yeah. the uh, the golf, golf course, course was there before your house was. Yeah, so yeah. so um, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, <laughs> your fault for building on a golf course. Mm-hmm. Like you shouldn't have built there. Your house was in the way of my ball. Yeah, exactly. The way I see it, you screwed me out of ten bucks. That now that person, I'm I'm not gonna give them hundred. I'm gonna give them ninety because yeah. they owe me ten. Because the golf ball is probably scrashed up and can't oh, play yeah. with it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we got. Ooh, I got a good question for you. This is this okay. is pretty, this is going to make you think. All, all right. right. <clears throat> all right. So if someone is in prison, all right, okay. and they have a life sentence, say they're eating their lunch and they choke and they like literally die. Interesting. From from a piece of food. But someone is able to, you know, do CPR and unlodge the food and bring them back to life. Do they get to go home? <laughs> <laughs> because they just literally served their life sentence and you died. That's such a fair question. Right. I, I'm here to die in prison. I just died. I got revived. I got brought back. My life sentence is done. I'm going home, bitches. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, because had that person not saved you, you would have died Done. immediately right then. And then right? the, the Is that not a thing? Wow. Or, I feel like I feel like <laughs> we need to judge for this question. Or do you at least like have to do like half your time now? No, I, I feel but like to me you should be able to go home. Yeah, no, I agree. Like you that did is it. That's fucking hilarious. I yeah. didn't even think about that. Like that you, is so upsetting that yeah. I don't have that answer because <laughs> before I, I would be like, you know, definitively, yeah. yes, you would or no, you wouldn't yeah. or whatever. But he served his life sentence. He actually died in prison. He was able to be revived. Does he get to go home? Same thing. Well, like, let, let's say you <laughs> were having a heart attack or whatever. They had to right. bring the defibrillator out. Then they bring you back from the dead because yeah. if they didn't fix it, then you'd be dead. You, I feel like there's. Do you get to go home? Yeah, there's a gray area that that oh, a judge or like the 
whoever's in charge of that yeah. Would be like, yeah no fuck you you gotta serve your life yeah. so still like you know there is because then you would know everyone else on planet earth would sit there and try to choke themselves yeah. and they'd be like hey man uh i got your back if you got mine and then <laughs> but you're take, fucking taking a chance then a thousand people in all the yeah. prisons are gonna sit there and start choking on god shit. damn <laughs> you're probably not gonna like you're <laughs> so that's the fast track to either like making the prisons half as populated Mm-mm. Really, really fast because mm-hmm. well, it's guaranteed. Yeah. Either they're going to die or they're going to get out early. They'll just let natural right? selection. So the prison population would be fucking non-existent. Like, oh, you got life sentence? Oh, That's choke so- on a piece of fucking pork rind. <laughs> and when we, like, you got to, like, legit fucking flatline. Yeah. If we bring you back, you go home. If you don't, you're in the fucking grave. Mm. Prison population, zero. I mean, that's fair. If you're willing to take that chance. Hey, we got an easy way out for you. Yeah, and, and, and I don't want someone to get offended and be like, yeah. oh, I can't believe you'd be willing to do that. No, they have a choice. Not, yeah, it's exactly. their choice. They, they don't have to do that. Right. But and, and it wasn't even a choice to begin with. Yeah. This is, we went down this rabbit hole. Of shit. Yeah. This is, what if it happened? Yeah, yeah. So, like, hypothetically, if everyone's <clears throat> at the – cafeteria or whatever it's called all right and they're all eating and yeah. then one person sits there and chokes not his fault it just be like that yeah and then someone saved his life and he was serving a life sentence like that's that's the example here it's yeah. not like we have people out here just like all right well you got to choke yourself or not yeah like it, we're not saying that we're saying yeah i just don't want someone to get offended um but no i a thousand percent agree like if you're sitting there choking and it was a thousand percent an accident to start with and someone saves you i think like if someone didn't save you, you would die. Right. And then they would they would just cancel your sentence. And that was your sentence. Yeah, and you're just fucking gone. Yeah. But then if you're choking, and then you survive that choking <laughs> hazard, it sounds so uh, stupid. Right? And can you imagine, like, <laughs> let, let's say there was someone that, like, murdered someone that you really cared about. Yeah. And then you found out that they got out because they just beat choking to death. You're like, oh, God yeah. damn it. Matt Ryan choked in the Super Bowl, and his ass is still right. walking free. So <laughs> yeah, He's a free man. So yeah. everyone should get the Matt Ryan treatment. Yeah. They would call it the Matt Ryan yeah. treatment. Yeah. yeah, There it is. You go to jail, you get a life sentence. Like, I'm about to Matt Ryan this bitch. Yeah. I'm going to fucking choke my way out of here, <laughs> and I'm a fucking free man. Yeah. That's God awesome. damn it. That works. That's genius. Yeah, we just came up with the Matt Ryan yeah. law. The- Put that in Congress. Mm-hmm. God let the Supreme Court know about the Matt Ryan. Yeah, role. I that's what I was sitting there like, man, if you like choke, it's, Tom we'll Brady call- gets the Deflate Gate and uh, yeah. the Drone Gate or whatever when they were flying the drone over yeah. the practice field for the Patriots for Super Bowl Fifty One. Yeah, that was a thing. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but just another way Bill Belichick and Tom Brady were cheating. Yeah, so, exactly. You like so. that? But yeah, that's that's one of my topics. I mean, I could go on. Yeah, I no. Mean, if you want me to, if you, if fucking... you got something else, like that was actually good. That's that's. What, what do you guys think? Like, <laughs> yeah. if someone is serving a life sentence and they choke to death, or they choke and then someone saves them, do they still have to serve their life sentence? If yeah. not, why? Like, why here's not? here's a fun topic too, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I kind of am because fuck your parents. Um. <clears throat> To anyone out there who has a three-letter name, your fucking parents hate you. They literally put in fucking zero effort. <laughs> you follow me? Like, I'm trying to think of a three-letter name. Oh, that's motherfucker. Not, Ian, Kai, uh, Tia, fu- you know what I mean? Like, there's tons yeah, of them. Because I was bum. thinking, like, like, some people will have theirs, like, like Pat or whatever, just P-A-T. And if if like that's your legit Patrick, name, yeah. then your fucking parents hate you. If you shortened it up, yeah. it's because you hate yourself. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. If, and if, no offense to Pat Martin, by the yeah, way. Yeah, love right, you. No, I know no, you watch no, the podcast, but taken. hey. Offense taken. Yeah. Love yourself, Pat. Say my name is fucking Patrick. Yeah. And when we have you on the show, I'm going to name. Martin. This is fucking Patrick Martin, not yeah. Pat, because we love him. If you hate yeah. yourself, call yourself Pat. But if you have a three-letter fucking name, that's zero fucking effort. Like your your mom put in all the fucking effort. <laughs> you have goddamn twenty one letters in your fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> Most people are like, I'm a third of that. Like I have to times my name by seven to hit that. Mm-hmm. Like I'm so jealous of people who have like short first names, middle names, and last names like all together. Yeah. Make it like if if someone's last name is Lee, like L I or L E E, and then their first name is like Ian Lee Lee, and it's. <laughs> Lee- just- <laughs> 
three six nine is nine letters. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I thought he was about to do some uh, three six nine. Damn good time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. About to jump it like a side. <laughs> yeah, Matthew pulled up into my neighborhood today, blasting his uh, rapper music. You better believe it. I was dropping like it's hot. Just can't pick it back up. <laughs> so yeah, it'd be good. like that in your old age. You can't once, yeah, once you drop it like it's hot. You my can't back. pick it up like it's Especially cold. Especially after a day of golfing, I I am surprised my back. Maybe it's because of the new driver or like practicing like the different stances. Mm-hmm. Dude, I played like the 18th hole. My back felt just as good as the the first. Sweet. Like I was like, God damn, and hitting the <clears throat> irons and stuff. Amazing. Oh yeah, we need we so. totally need a top golf here. Like mm. that land next to the Navy Federal on nine mile. Oh fuck. That man. is the perfect location. Yeah. If they ever decide to sell it. Because Oh, did you not that, see the new plans for it? Well, that it's supposed land, to be the little, uh, like a little little league for Beulah. Well, I, and I know it, it it's shown like in the past I don't know, eight years, mm-hmm. a bunch of potential plans because every time they come out with it and they put it out for bid, Navy Federal will fucking double the price, mm. and they want to buy it. So the county backs up and like, no, you're gonna fucking take over and be a monopoly and all this and that. <clears throat> we're going to take that away. And every time they put it up for bid, Navy Federal fucking throws down this crazy number because they want all of that fucking land. Mm-hmm. So it's been shown as like, it's going to be a strip mall, a fucking yeah. the little league and That's all this I crazy want. shit. I, and wanted, I wanted it to be the outlet mall with the yeah. residential shit and the restaurants because that and would make our property value go through the roof. And it would, yeah. but Navy Federal is going to fucking throw some crazy amount and they're going to fuck everything up. And it will be a goddamn helicopter pad until we die, because of Navy Federal. That's so dumb. Yeah. God, there's so much potential there. Just like that that McDonald's on Beulah. Uh, Logan told me, or the McDonald's that they just built. Mm-hmm. Logan told me that right next to it was supposed to be a Chick Fil A. I was like, that's the thing too. I, on the way out to your house, I'm like, goddamn, if they put a Chick Fil A out here, mm-hmm. you could put two, one across the street from each other, yeah. and dominate. Yeah. That and then Fucking also a dominate. Starbucks. If they had a Starbucks and a Chick Fil A in the same parking lot, yeah. along with that McDonald's, that right there, that little section would make yeah. too much money. Like Legit. the IRS would call and say, "Hey, you guys need to stop." This y'all ain't even fair. Too much. Yeah, too right much down the money. road from Navy Federal's corporate office. Like, are yeah. you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <clears throat> you could put five Starbucks and five Chick Fil A's, mm-hmm. and they would all do fucking bank. They would be sold the fuck out every yeah. day. Yeah, the the reason why I don't think they have a Starbucks outside of Navy Federal, or at least within the area, except mm-hmm. for down on Pine Forest, is because inside that Navy Federal, there's yeah. an employee ran Starbucks. Fuck that. So they have the rights for like Starbucks drinks and shit. <sighs> so it's, they're fuckers, man. Yeah, they are. They, they have everything. Mm-hmm. They even have their own like little medical clinic in there. So if really, they, if they get sick, they have a nurse practitioner paid for God by Navy Federal. Fuck y'all. Too much money. Y'all don't, yeah, y'all don't need anything more. Yeah. No, I, except for putting ass. a goddamn Chick-fil-A yeah. in front of my Publix down here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Something we can get a benefit from. I'm not yeah. going to benefit from fucking Dr. Goddamn Smith, yeah. you know, inside mm-hmm. Navy Federal if I go into cardiac arrest. Yeah. And I, I rarely ever eat McDonald's, and they put a McDonald's right there. Like, Logan's happy about it because Chili lives right down the road from us, so... There you go. Like so, he's like, "Oh, the the new McDonald's is opening next yeah. Tuesday. I'm going to be the first one there." I'm like, "Yeah, well, let me know if you are." Cheeseburgers and chilies on Tuesday. Yep. See, they put all the fat restaurants right here. Like we have a Pizza yeah. Hut, a McDonald's, and a fucking uh, but rock and roll sushi. You're like the only fucking fit person out here. Though. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, look, you of this area, they will ride their fucking horses up mm-hmm. to that bitch. And go through the goddamn drive through yeah. and get a fucking 95 damn double cheeseburgers for their fucking kids yeah. to work on the farm. Yeah. That's just the way, that's just the area yeah, you live in. so much just emptiness out here. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. You're like country, but not. Like, you're mm-hmm. on that verge. We are 15 minutes at least, if not 20 yeah. minutes, from anything normal. Like, living in, in our house. Yeah. But, but the neighborhood's nice. Yeah. Like yeah, nice neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have sidewalks. Oh yeah, and that are like barely, barely completed. <laughs> but it'd be like that. <laughs> let me see. What let do me, you have? Yeah, let let me me see. See. I can go through my whole fucking note section today. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, let me see what we got. 
So we did that. We got. I'm gonna delete some of these. What else we got? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I know a uh, food tasting we need to do. Oh, what's up? Uh, they have mac and cheese ice cream. No way. Fuck yeah, they do. Uh, yes, they do. What's the like ice cream flavor? M- fucking but, like, mac yeah, and cheese. But 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 well, like, what is the baseline? Is it like vanilla or is it chocolate or is it strawberry? Or, like, what's it's the baseline? Fucking. It looks like melted. Yellow cheese, mm. and uh, like that's the color of it. It just is fucking mac and cheese. Oh man! Like we need to go and uh, try some. Oh, I have something. I, just, I do have something. Do you? real fast? Let's do it. But the thing is, I don't have. Like I know you're gonna ask me what mine is, and I don't have. I don't. I don't know one yet. Yeah. So, well, I have uh, an idea too. By the way. Okay. <clears throat> um, the next crawfish boil that we do, or mm-hmm. even if we're like, fuck it, it, it has to be a crawfish boil where we're, we're drinking, we're having fun and we're at relaxed. It can't be like it Cubs because you're like trying to be proper, yeah. right? Crawfish boils. We're relaxed as fuck. And this would be funny. It uh-huh. is like for all of us to do like the girls and everything. We all dress in white. <laughs> And try to make it the entire crawfish boil, like without like getting, getting anything on us. And whoever does was like a hundred bucks or something. Fair. I yeah. did try that yesterday because yesterday when we went to Cubs, I was yeah. wearing a white t-shirt. And because I, I didn't plan on you saying, "Hey man, uh, let's go to let's go to Cubs," so I was wearing a white t-shirt. And then yesterday I was just like slowly peeling yeah. the crawfish and trying to like not yeah. let shit splash on me because oh. I, I was successful. So yeah, I, I know it's I know it's possible. Yeah, it's definitely possible. So, but that's the thing. Like, if you're at a crawfish boil, you don't give a shit. You're drinking. No. Like, you're you're drinking. Beers you're in, fucking yeah. cracking crawfish. You're doing shrimp. Yeah. You're, you yeah. know, just putting it all in there. You're and, eating like a dirty whore. Yeah, you're <laughs> eating like you've fucking been starving yeah. for a, a year, and you're just finger fucking everything. Like stuff's gonna splatter. Mm-hmm. Like that would be fun. Like we all dress in white, and whoever walks away without any blemish that'd be fun. gets like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah. I think. So one of the topics I had on my Do phone it. was this should be an entire podcast episode. Be, one yeah. because it's something to talk about, and then two, I just, I don't know mine yet. But um, what I have written down is what is something that you've done as a kid. Yeah. Before you were 18 years old, that you still feel bad about to this day. Oh, God damn it. I don't know mine. Really? Yeah. I, I wrote it down with the thought because I, I thought about it. I was like, oh, that's a good one. But then I don't know what something I've done that I still feel bad about to this day. Really? Yeah. Like it could be anything in the world, no matter what it is. Like it still like fucks with you to this day. Like every now and then you have you still think about it, you're like, oh fuck, I wish, I wish, I wish I didn't think about that. Like fuck it. It's gonna be something to think about so we can make a podcast. Cause I dude <laughs> I probably got some stories on here that will <laughs> fucking mind blow a lot of people. No, I, I feel like I, I don't know every story. Like, so I, I, so dude, I, I got some stories I can fucking mind fuck you for sure. That's so good. I, I, yeah. I have to. You have one? I do. Not podcast. Oh, really, man. Yeah. Really? Oh, shit. Right, yeah. not, okay. As soon as the mic's cut, we're, we're yeah. going to say well, it. Well, I'll tell you know. when we leave here. Like, definitely. Oh, um, man. Goddamn. Yeah. I mean, dude, because growing up, everything. That's the thing, man. Like everything pre 2015 was game on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's like you did a lot of fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. And if you think about it now, you're like, wow, that's fucked up now. Yeah. But and back not then, a chance and fuck you, get away with it now. Yeah, yeah, back then that was normal. Yeah. Like, I remember being in high school and fucking you're taking a piss in the boys' bathroom and you like just piss over and piss on the guy's shoes next to you. Oh. It's funny. But now, like, you'll go straight to fucking jail, and yeah. it's like, for what? You know, that like, or you'll get your ass beat in the fucking bathroom. Right. So, I mean, thing. it's like, it's it's a whole different world now than what it was, like, just even, you know, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. And it's like, so to say, like, oh, before you're this age or whatever, like, because back then it was normal. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, my God. 
How fucking, dare you? Yeah, you fucking yeah, did that? That's so dumb. Is something wrong with you? You know, like, no. That's just the way shit was done back then. Yeah. Okay, all right. What about, uh, what's something that you've done in the past that, like, it could be yesterday, it could be 10 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever. What's something that you've done that every time you think about it, it just makes you fucking die laughing? Like, without fail. Oh, goddamn. So... Um, every time I see something ice covered, uh-huh. I immediately bust out laughing to when I was younger mm-hmm. and <clears throat> down our street growing up, we had this ditch, right? And it was a drainage ditch, whatever water would build up in there. And it got freezing, freezing cold one night. Mm-hmm. And me and my brother, we're like, <clears throat> hey, we're going to ride our bikes. We're going to, like, have some fun. You know, like, fuck, we're in Florida. So mm-hmm. if you see snow, frozen ice, sleet, anything that's, like, cold-natured, you immediately get your fucking, like, game on. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because you don't see that shit yeah. ever. Yeah. So when you have a whole ditch filled with ice, you're like, <laughs> what are we going to do with this? And what aren't we going to do with this? And the first thing I'm like, ah, we're going to fucking ride our bikes on it. Oh, no. You know what I mean? I think I'm beating you to the funny part here. <laughs> so my brother, he rides his bike. And so the ditch is this way. Mm-hmm. My brother rides his bike at an angle. He goes into the grass. He comes back at an angle, comes back onto the road. And I'm like... Fuck it. I'm the youngest one here. I'm going to outdo all of you because that's, I got to show my worth, yeah, right? Yeah. So <laughs> here's the ditch. I come in from the road. I hit the ice dead on. Uh-huh. Like, again, I'm from Florida. I'm a kid. I know dick about shit about ice. And my brother, when he built up speed, he went and he just coasted. Yeah. Went up into the grass, pedaled, coasted. I didn't fucking know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got in the middle of this bitch. I'm going down the middle like this. And all of a sudden, my bike started to go like this. Oh, I'm like, no. I need to pick up speed. Natural instinct, right? I go to pedal. My back tire goes, you know, oh, super fast. Yeah. Sends me into a kamikaze spin. My bike oh, no. leaves my fucking body. <laughs> flies away from me. All I looked up. And I was like, you guys are getting so tall. <laughs> Poof, fucking my, oh. the back of my head hit the goddamn ice. And it was this thick, right? Uh, it was frozen solid. Shit. And it put a like spider, you know, like a, an indention right here. And it went <laughs> spider oh, web cracked fuck. it. And I, like, I fucking woke up and I was like, did I make it? <laughs> you know, like, did I make it to the other side? Dude, when I spun that wheel, that motherfucker flew out from underneath me, and I was, that was it. Boom. Mm. And, I, and my brother is on top of me. He goes, are you okay? Mm. And I was just like, I had a fucking knot on the back of my head. That was like a goddamn golf ball. I was like, don't tell dad. Oh, no. Fucking don't tell dad. He's like, I'm not going to tell <laughs> So we pick up my bike, and I was like, what did I do wrong? He's like, dude. I went side to side and I didn't pedal. You went down the middle of it and was going so far. I was like, and he goes, <laughs> pedaling. Oh. Yeah, he's like, fuck yeah, you're going to make it. And then you started pedaling and the, the fucking back tire did this whole thing and the bike flew out from underneath you. And then you just fucking wham. And dude, my head split solid ice and mm. I had a fucking knot. So every time. If I see like a ditch frozen over or like say Christmas, we're going to come over for Christmas and we're going to open presents and I'm on my way to your house and I see like a frozen little ditch or a frozen little thing of ice, immediately (laughs) I start laughing. I'm like, I want to ride my bike across it. I don't even have a bike and I just want to ride a bike across it just so I can make myself do it again. Yeah, that's too funny. And you know, to see if the same result happens. Mm-hmm. Because God knows if I do it again, I'm probably not going to get back up. But it, it makes me laugh that fucking hard. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, so my story, <clears throat> it's not as funny as that, but you know, remember when GP was alive and he was part of the Shriners? Yeah. And part of the Shriner uh, outfit was that red. It was yeah. like, almost like this color. It's super dark, yeah. Yeah, it was a dark thing, and then they had that little gold tassel yeah. that 
leaned over and it said uh, Haji on mm-hmm. it or Haji or whatever. The hell. It looked like a birthday hat. Yeah. It, le- it looked yeah. like a birthday hat, but it was like, like yeah. cut off at the top. So it wasn't an exact like yeah. peak. Almost like you took like a popcorn bucket. Yeah. It was a pop. If you can imagine a <laughs> solid red popcorn bucket with a gold tassel hanging yeah. off, that's what these yeah. hats look like. Anyway, so there was one time uh, Momo and GP had a meeting out at the uh, temple. Mm. And for some reason, Logan and I had to go. And I had my friend Patrick with me. And uh, <laughs> so when you walk into the, the temple, there's the wall with all the like Shrine or Hall of Fame yeah. or whatever on it. And Logan did not want to go. Yeah. Like, he was fucking pissed that we had to go. And it's not going to be as funny to you, but to me, it's super funny. So every time I drive by uh, on Nine Mile of the Temple, I think about this. <coughs> and so Logan was bitching and complaining to my mom about having to go. And he's like, I just want to fucking leave. I just want to leave. I don't want to be here. Yeah. And I was like, it's all right. Just like, it'll be over soon. It, it's, it is what it is. It's just a fucking meeting. Well, Logan kept going into the Shriner like building instead of staying in the front yeah. and kept asking my mom, like, when are we going to leave? When are we going to leave? And she's like, just wait, just wait, just wait. Yeah. So Logan comes back out. He's like, I'm tired of being here. I don't want to be in this stupid fucking building with these stupid people wearing <laughs> magic hats. And, and he thought it said magic, <clears throat> but it said Haji. Oh, my God. So the way the H-A-D-J-I yeah. was, it looked like it said magic. And I was like, it doesn't say fucking oh magic. God. It says Haji on it. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a fuck what it says. I just want to leave. Oh He's my so God. pissed. So every time I drive by there, I think of <clears throat> magic hats. Oh, my because God. Because that's what he said. So it's. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah. Magic yeah. hats. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Because the first thing you look up. To is these people wearing the same fucking yeah. hats all across the wall, right. and he thinks they all say magic because of oh how they're like God. placed with the lens. So That's there's not funny. a single one of them that says Haji. It just looks like they all say magic. That's good. So I'm gonna have to, make fun of I'm gonna have to bring that up next time I see him. Yeah, like, we <laughs> magic hat. We need to get some like replica ones, and yeah. like next Thanksgiving, just all put them on. Like he walks in, like what the. F- Fuck and everyone's like, "What, Logan? Like, yeah. what's, what's wrong? Yeah, you know, like you don't like our magic hat." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much they would charge to have a hat made for us. Ah, I'm sure we could make some cheap ones. Yeah, I have another story similar to Do that. It. But uh, it was when we were like, Logan and I was really, really little, and we were in the bowling league, <clears throat> and Mama would take us there on Saturday <clears throat> mornings. Which a lot of y'all don't know. I'm going to cut you off there because <laughs> fucking Lance and Logan were phenomenal bowlers. I was. Logan was not. Well, I He's mean, not going to take credit for that. Yeah. I know he didn't even want to be there. And that's yeah. where this was heading. But he was still good. <laughs> like He was better than I was. But goddamn, Lance could fucking throw down on some bowling. Like, was legit. Pretty funny. We need good. to go fucking bowling as a podcast. Oh, that would episode. be funny. Yeah. Fuck this we talk about shit. golfing, yeah. Yeah, we always go golfing. Let's go fucking bowl. Lance had an Atlanta Falcons bowling ball. I had three bowling balls. Fuck yeah. I had an Atlanta Falcons. Two Falcon. more than fucking Lance Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> God had, damn it. I had the Atlanta Falcon ball, which was drilled to go straight. Then I had a uh, another ball. It was like a, a blue and yellow and a white combo. Like yeah. it had like swirls in it and shit. And that was meant for this the curves that you see on like PJ mm-hmm. Tours. And and for those of you who don't know, it's all about how the ball is drilled because in a bowling ball, there's a weight brick. And if they drill it a certain way, it gives that curve to it. And it's also about how you hold it and then your follow through. So if you like are supposed to hold the ball like this, push it out towards you, come back, come forward, and then like you're t- like doing a handshake. Yeah. And that's how it gets the spin to go from right to and left. And now left you right. see why Audrey said yes to marrying him. Yeah. It's all about the finger action. Yeah, it's... You know, you know. How Where'd you learn that from? Yeah. Girl, hey, pudding cups and bowling. <laughs> pudding cups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> anyway, so I had three balls. So I had the straight ball that was drilled with a weight brick to go straight, and that was to get the seven and ten pin. Like usually, like if you see the big splits, that's what the it's a seven on the left and a ten on the right. Doesn't fucking matter. Um. So that was the. Atlanta but what ball. does matter is shout out to our grandma because she's yeah. the first woman in Pensacola to get a three hundred. 
or, or, or 900 series or what? what it, it, she it, she has a she, fucking a newspaper she, article I, that was yeah. chiseled in fucking stone at her house. Yeah, I so it's I, a 900 series or something so crazy. I, it wasn't a 300 because she's never yeah. gotten a 300. It's and a, it's a, a f- 900 series is three 300 games in a row. It's something fucking crazy. Uh, I think I'm we need gonna, a fucking call. I'm gonna call her. Call her. Hold on, we're putting her on a podcast. Yeah. Y'all are about to meet fucking grandma. Yeah. So. Congratulations <laughs> to those who have stuck around this long. You're going to get the talk to my mom. I can't wait to see what she says. <coughs> like, hey, mom. Yeah. Matthew and I are doing a podcast. And let's yeah. See what, she says. what was your, what was the article that you're known for? Yeah. The first woman in what? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. She's like, what? To get my hair done? Mm-hmm. Hey, Lance. Watch this. Hey, Lance. It's going to be, hello. Yeah. If she answers, if she, fucking- Hey mama. Hey. Hey, uh, you're on the podcast. Um, but we're talking about bowling right now. Um, so, uh-huh. and so we were wondering, cause you were the first person in Pensacola to do what, what, what was it that you did that, uh, you won that award for or whatever? That yeah. That's, like- that's in the, the, in the hallway of your, uh, house that's like chiseled in stone. <laughs> it's our the first six hundred series. Oh, so first six hundred. There it is. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, first seven hundred. Oh, seven hundred. Seven hundred series. Oh, yeah. seven hundred. There cool. it is. You heard it from the grandmother. All right. Well, yeah, we were we were uh, <laughs> talking about it because we didn't know what it was that you accomplished. So that's what we were trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, it was the first seven hundred series, and then they had a seven hundred club, and I was the first woman that they invited to join it. The men already had one, so mm-hmm. they enjoyed, invited me to join it. So, so but did then you, after me, there were several others. Did you get any? Uh, did you get anything for that? Like other than like a plaque or a trophy? Or no, whatever? just a plaque. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know plaque. if it was a special club. Oh no, uh-uh. you was just a member of the seven hundred club. That was it. So they didn't do anything. We just, I guess, just being a member of it was the most important thing. <laughs> Because, okay. you know, not everybody rolled a 700 yeah. series. Well, that's cool. Okay. Our grandma's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was years ago, long time ago. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we, okay. were, uh, we were just calling to see we, what, what it actually was. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, that's what it was. Everybody doing okay? Yeah, we're doing fine. Hey, how you doing? All right, that's good. I'm a little bit better, I think. Haley has... Nikki cared her to be tested, and she has the flu, not COVID. Okay, well, that's good. positive for the flu. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I, I didn't want to get sick. Okay. So. <laughs> I know. I don't need that, but I already got something. <laughs> uh, well, uh, okay. All right. Well, love you a lot. All right. Love you, and talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's it. That's our grandma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is our fucking grandma. Yeah, she's she wants to tell you everything yeah. all the time. So. And it's always, how are you doing? Make sure everyone else is okay, even though she has 9,000 other things going on. It's yeah. really, grandma? Like, we're <laughs> calling you to ask you, are you okay? But, you know, God. That's, so, first woman in Pensacola for 700 series. That's actually go. fucking amazing. That's yeah. so good. I knew it was something crazy because I seen a, a, a black and white picture of her bowling mm-hmm. and there you GP go. used to bowl too. Like really? He's part of the Chiefs thing, or I, I think that's what it was. Like he did a really. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know he fucking bowled. Yeah, GP bowled too. Really? Yeah. God damn. I didn't know that until after I was already not bowling anymore. Because really? there's pictures of GP and GP's name on some trophies. I think it's like a part of the military thing, just to get out and fucking yeah. bowl a little bit. Because it's, it's like a Chiefs yeah. club type deal. Yeah. Whatever. There you go. Speaking of chief, uh, James is about to make chief. Fuck he yeah. uh, is submitting his paperwork, so I'll know in November. And uh, that's if if he makes or when he makes chief, because I'm, yeah. I'm I'm positively yeah. thinking that into existence. We got faith in you, buddy. When he makes chief, <clears throat> then he's going to do his uh, ceremony in uh, Hawaii. Oh, that's going to be fucking sick. Yeah. So we I, need, I we need James here. He will be the third club member with our, the, yeah. the two in yeah. the pink. Yeah. Yeah. For the. Mm. Yeah, the whole golf <laughs> club uh, glove member because I have three glo- three of those gloves and it's two in the pink, one in the stink. James, <laughs> yeah. we have one for you still in the fucking bag. Yeah, 
waiting for you, buddy. It's so perfect. Like on the golf course, when you're wearing it, you should almost like, you know how when you're driving through town, if you have a Jeep or if you yeah. have a certain car or whatever, there's like that wave. It's yeah. like, oh, what's up, man? I uh, think, especially motorcycles. They, they give you the yeah, peace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like peace, peace. And we didn't know that about the Jeep thing, but yeah. there's a Jeep wave too. So Is it like, really? Yeah, it's so obnoxious. So there was one with my Raptor and I didn't realize it until really? everyone in Pensacola who had a Raptor was, yeah. they were like, What's up? Sup, sup, sup. Fuck yeah. Do you have to take the doors off on the Jeep to fucking do it? Or do you no, see it they, through the windshield? Yeah, it's through the windshield. And, and it's fucking the, it's the, sorry. It's the two finger thing. Yeah. When the fuck are we going to have a GMC Sierra wave? wave? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone would be waving all the time. And, and like, if oh, I man. had a fucking T Rex, my wave would be fucking this. I think that's what it is because every yeah. T Rex that passes me, no one does anything. It's like almost like the, yeah. the uh, alpha males of the yeah. road. Fuck you, dickhead. For yeah. buying my truck, yeah, you know, exactly. I'm the only one in this area that's supposed to own my truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the deal. Yeah. But I think with the two in the pink, one in the stink gloves, I think yeah. on the golf course, like if you're wearing that glove, you should be able to drive by everyone and go, "Yeah, what's up?" Yeah. Man? So yeah, speaking of that, that when then... we started golfing today, like the club ranger, the golf ranger guy, you know, the course ranger, he comes <laughs> up, and I was like, "Oh fuck." So when we started, immediately the first sign I see is no private coolers. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot my cooler in the truck. That made me remember that I forgot my cooler in the truck. To drive back through the parking lot to get something you're not supposed to have. (laughs) Yeah, I fucking lap it to go back to my truck to get something we're not supposed to have, throw the cooler in the golf cart, go back up. We line up on the first tee box. And we're about to go up there, and here comes a fucking golf course ranger. And I'm like, God damn it. Here's a fucking seriously. black and neon green cooler <laughs> sitting in my cart, wide open. He's about to fuck with us. Mm-hmm. And he, like, storms up. He pulls up on us, and I'm like, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take a chance. So immediately I go to my bag. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? As I'm talking to him, I was like, and I grab my fucking uh, golf club out of my bag. And it's still in the fu- the plastic container. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I want to. I was like, hey, man, check this out. Fresh out the bag. And I was taking a chance. This guy could have been religious as fuck. And yeah. like, I, I'm offended mm-hmm. by your golf glove. <laughs> but I was like, oh, man, check this out. Straight out the bag. Here we go. Put on my glove, strapped it up. I was like, what do you think of this? He goes, I fucking love that. That so I want to get a picture of that and send it to my brother. Yeah. Then you told him about your ball sack. Too. Yeah. And then yeah. I showed him my ball sack. So he took a picture of my ball sack and my glove mm-hmm. and sent it to his brother. And he's just like, I fucking love it. Can like just walked away like, and then gave us a whole spiel about uh, keep up with your play today. Have fun, and also, hey, our bar and grill is selling hot dogs, deep fried, and I like the black and chicken tacos. And and let me tell you real quick: <laughs> when he was talking about the hot dog, he said that they take the hot dog and they put it in the fryer, and so it gives it a nice crunchy yep. feel to it. So it has a yeah. nice. What he said was, it has a nice pop in your mouth yeah i don't want to fucking hear that when i'm eating a goddamn hot dog (laughs) and then he pulls up on us like right after we start on hole 10 and he's like if you order it by nine they'll have it to you on the back turn they'll actually bring you the food while you're still golfing so he pulls up on us on 10 this man hardcore was trying to sell us yeah he literally was (laughs) And, and god bless him you know what i mean and he literally had fucking like Food down his sleeve right here. And he's like, hey, I just want to let y'all know, uh, they, the head chef actually decided to throw chili onto the hot dog today. So now they're deep fried chili dogs, die fucking beaties. Here we go. And they're amazing. But I also still recommend the black and chicken tacos. And the first thing in my head was like, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I'm going to fucking say it is, (laughs) is that the chili on your fucking sleeve? (laughs) You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's when she tossed me the ketchup packet that was open to put on my French fries when I was eating the chili dogs. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. But yeah, it was, it was fucking chilly. There was not ketchup. Yeah, it was. He was he was slinging it. He was fucking just blah, 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 chili dogging it, and he got chilly on his fucking sleeve, and he was embarrassed. He's like, "Oh fuck!" He called me out on it. The fact that he called. 
the guy who's cooking the food at the clubhouse, the head chef, yeah, is upsetting. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, he pulls up. He's like, the head chef said that they're actually putting chili on the ch- the hot dogs today, so you can have a, a deep fried chili dog. I'm like, I'm sorry, I already had diarrhea three times today before fucking noon. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather just like a drunk uncle cook yeah. our food rather than yeah. some head chef at a golf. If course, I want to spray that one, yeah. If I want to spray shit through a fucking screen door, I'll go to goddamn Taco Bell and fucking spend. <laughs> 98 cent Shit. on a fucking taco <laughs> but he's like oh it's nine dollars and 58 cent i'm like ah, i can get diarrhea for free yeah like why would i pay for a deep fried hot dog covered in chili God. diarrhea on diarrhea sprayed out of my ass please that does sound so bad like a deep so fried bad. hot dog and then throw that onion- sounds like a corn dog without yeah. the corn meal throw onion rings or french fries on top of that and beer mm-hmm. good god man like, how are you fat when you're shitting like a fucking infant? <laughs> I, fair. It's the United I don't get States uh, yeah. uh, food situation that we got here. Because apparently yeah. there was a story that I heard where this like couple, they went to like Italy or whatever, mm-hmm. and they only ate pasta for seven days straight, and they lost weight. Really? I was like, fuck. Well, all of their stuff is like organic, and mm-hmm. it's actually like, from what I'd heard, it's better it for is, you. Well, and it's also like against law to put like, Preservatives, Over, and yeah, shit. preservatives yeah. and stuff into it. Mm-hmm. So, well, you look at some of these old school farmers. Yeah, bacon, fucking eggs. Mm-hmm. You know, real cheese, milk, and it's fat on top of fat on top of fat. But it's like non preservative and just all organic as fuck. And mm-hmm. dude, I've like half these farmers, these older guys, are fucking small and skinny. Mm-hmm. You know, it's when you start adding like. All the growth hormones and mm-hmm. preservatives and stuff. People start, you know, it fucks with your body, you know, I'm yeah. sure. But yeah, that's like yeah. Audrey and I were just watching carbs and sugar. Yeah. And that's lost me 35 pounds. So I was like, God damn it. I yeah. think I found your 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that does it for today's podcast. So you guys saw, uh, did we talk about the sandwich that we had? I no, know. we didn't even say we oh, went to man, Stacy's. We, we, I mean, last night we went to Benelli's, Benelli's and I yeah. ate all of it. And Fucking so there's Lance, that picture. Oh, Lance <laughs> outdid himself. So Lance, plug here. There's this fucking food. Lance did like Lance did what I always anticipate doing. I'm like, I'm fucking going there and I'm fucking dr- I'm drinking wine. I'm eating bread mm-hmm. and I'm going to get my chicken parm. I'm just going to and I'm going to eat everyone else's food. And I get there and I'm like, all right, I drink wine. I'm halfway there. I eat the bread and the oil and the balsamic. And I'm like, all right, I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. My plate comes out and I cut it in half. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to eat it. And I literally look up and Lance has done cut his up. <laughs> and it's just like straight up kindergarten style getting eating after it. it. <laughs> and in the middle of taking a breath, he looks over at odds and goes, I'll take some of your pesto. <laughs> and he was a maniac. It was good. I wish I would have filmed it because I was like, Dude, you're fucking so awesome right now. You're killing it. Like I was, I was his biggest cheerleader. I was like, "Go, Lance! This is awesome. You're gonna do it." I probably could add more. I've never seen anybody so eat good. the whole bowl of pasta and chicken, <laughs> and even the, the the waiter. He comes by and he's like, "Holy shit! <laughs> you ate the whole entire thing. This is good." Like, I didn't even are, mean to. Yeah. Are you preparing to go run ten miles tomorrow? Like, are you carbing up right now? We're like, I no. should. I should have. Went yeah. to, for a run or something to burn it yeah. off. I was like, all we're be- doing is playing golf. He's like, well, is, is he, is he going to fucking run it? Is he going <laughs> to run all 18 holes or is he going to drive the golf cart? I'm like, dude, Shut he's up. nailing it. He's just like, I'm hungry. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And it was you so get good. Like, yeah. Oh, it was and so it's good. that MF and good, but you got to put yourself on check. You got to put that leash on yourself and like, I know I'm going to want it, but I need to hold myself back. I'm a dirty bitch. I'm a dirty Lance animal. Lance cut that leash off. No, nah, I said fuck that and leash. And he fucked it. <laughs> to, but today during lunch, he did restrain. Uh, he did very well with the sandwich and the hot wings and, you know, the food that we had today. So that was very good. But last night, you showed your ass yeah, at no, Benelli's I eating. So yeah, good. I was impressed. I don't get impressed very much on people eating, but I was like, oh, holy fuck. 
No, that's like, so good. Yeah, no, like you don't you don't mess with me with red wine and then that pasta. A red oh my God. sauce, a vodka sauce that has some spice to it yeah. with a perfectly seasoned Parmesan chicken. And, and, and you know what? I'm doing this to like rub it in Lance's face because I saved half of my chicken parm. Oh, I can go there tonight and get another. I, one. Yeah, <laughs> I I'll be a dirty little whore. I get to go, go home <laughs> and just finger bang the hell out of my chicken parm. And Lance is like, fuck. Yeah, you guys sit there and just like finger diddle it. Like, yeah. I get, <laughs> I got what? But they said that uh, the leftover uh, pesto is good if you reheat it and like make it into like a dip or something. Oh, like, yeah. That'd yeah. be a thing. That'd be fun. Like a pesto dip with uh, pita chips or something. That'd be good. Yeah. I mean, I got the other half of the sandwich from uh, oh, that sandwich today. is when you see, oh, it's on garlic bread. The biggest club sandwich you could ever think of with garlic bread and peppered mayo, fucking straight butt cracks. Yeah. It, it is. Dipping it in ranch is the titties. Lance will dip good. everything in ranch. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. It, ranch and sour cream. Those are my two dipping options. Like the pizza yeah. at the wine bar, which we have to have, is the best Italian pizza p- pizza on planet Earth. Yeah. And then if you dip it in ranch. I still need to do good, good, like, good test that. Yeah. It, oh, it's so good. What, well, I mean, are, do they take reservations or something? Or like, no, you, you just walk in there. So we can do like wine bar tonight then? Yeah. Oh, really? I'd, I'd, oh, I'd be a fat little whore. Why not? I mean, what do you got to do tomorrow? Uh, not besides shit. fucking I, and run off all the carbs that I consumed last night and tonight. <laughs> I so, mean, I'm fucking down. So if you want to go, I'm I'm down. I'll say that that pizza is the titties. We may have a dilemma. Yeah, they have really good red wine. So if you're a little whore for that, I, and I am a whore for really, red uh, wine. <laughs> red wine. Uh, red, yeah. red wine. I have, and I showed Lance this last night. I have perfected talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tongue to the bottom of the lip thing. You stick your uh, tongue to the bottom of your lip, and that's the way we're gonna talk. Red wine, red wine, and wine. pizza. That's how we're gonna talk tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I just had a stroke. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I'm totally down. So we're gonna figure out something different. Yeah, no. So- uh, the sausage, the yeah. Italian sausage pizza at the wine bar. They have really good red wine yeah. and really, really good fucking nice. old fashions. So however you want to play it. Well, hopefully today everyone enjoyed the uh, cream sickle. I know yeah. I enjoyed winning uh, Lance's money. So all that earnings went into my golf bag. So now yeah. I feel like Michael Jordan. I have. Yeah. $230 in my golf bag and it's going to sit there until we go golfing again. And I think, I think next time we ought to just splurge and go to lost key. And then after that, we go up to hub Stacy's on the point okay. and out there on the water. So that's a whole vibe itself. But we mm-hmm. do like a, like a 12 o'clock, like a noon tee off time. Okay. Sweet. Like we're that, that people. Okay. Yeah. Cause normally Lance and I are like, we, we start at like seven Mm-hmm. And we're finishing at noon, and we're like, man, look at these guys over here teeing off. <laughs> yeah. We're about to go drink beer. They're just now hitting off. Now we're those guys. We've rested all day. Oh, my God. What if we went to, like, an early brunch and pregame, like, with mimosas and shit? Fuck. Or we could go to Scenic, because their brunch is the tits. That would be dangerous, because, because they, have, they have bottomless mimosas there. We probably, like, would just drink, and, like, I'm not golfing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll I, just throw the ball <laughs> Oh, we should do that for a hole. Yeah. And then it, in like, instead of like putting, we have to just like try to throw every ball, yeah, throw every ball. There it is. That, that at least Fuck. one hole of the next time we go golfing. I think we should do yeah, that. I, that, I, that I would I, fucking be down to do all 18. That, <laughs> we play golf with no clubs. We fucking That's did it. Fucking amazing. Lance and Matt plays golf with no clubs. That's a do that. fucking episode. God damn it. We play golf with no clubs. I have to do it now. Yeah. We rent a fucking golf cart and everything. And then we have to full on like Michael Jordan shoot it into the. And and then we bowl it. Yeah. Roll it. Throw it. However you need to do it to get it in there. I don't care how you do it. Yeah. We're fucking doing it. And they're going to freak. They're going to blow their fucking minds when we pull up, especially at like seeing it because you know he has that little fucking course ranger. Yeah. With his notebook. It's like, where's your clubs? <laughs> yeah. We don't fucking need any. You imagine on hole number one, we just fucking chunk it. Yeah, we'll pick it up. And then we get there and we just, and we can't take any other step other than the one step. Like we have yeah. our, we have our back foot oh my God. where it was and just. It's too it. funny. 
I have yeah, to do Because I'm, I'm thinking of the Chorus Ranger, and he's like, he always has this fucking big ass notebook binder. Yeah. And he literally watches your first hit, and he like marks it down, like, mm-hmm. oh, this fucking. <laughs> These whatever. people play like yeah. shit. And we get up there with no clubs, and we just fucking throw one. <laughs> and be like, and then we drive off. They're going to be like, oh, we need like odd in the bushes or like to the side filming their reaction. Like, yeah. what the fuck was that? Excuse me. You know, they're going to fucking, yeah. excuse me, sir. Can you not do that? Like, what What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it I didn't lose my ball. Yeah. Because I know I, I'm not going to shank it hard right. Right. <laughs> because fucking Julio back here is about to hit one, not further than what I just threw it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to go in fucking this person's backyard and almost kill their goddamn dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm throwing fairways over here. Oh, uh, we would never. We we would literally take one ball out there. Yeah, we a, show a up. Our three would be fun. We fucking show up and nothing but this with one ball each <laughs> because we know we're yeah, not we, gonna we're, lose we're it. not gonna lose it. Yeah, we're just fucking out there watching them. <laughs> That would be fun. God like, damn no it. golf bag or anything. Just us no. in a golf cart. That's what I'm ball. saying. Nothing. We one show podcast with ball. a fucking golf. Yeah, our podcast ball in our pocket, and they're like. What the fuck? Oh, that's too good. We're, we're just out here to play golf with our ball. Oh, is it, this is how you do it? And fucking throw it. <laughs> and we go out there, we pick it up, and we're like, fucking Ready launch it. Ready to fucking launch it again. And that's then so bowl sick. it in there. I bet. I need to do it. I bet we get a better score that way than we do hit it. Oh, easily. Ball. Easily. Yeah. I bet. <sighs> All right, that's what we're doing next. Yeah, next we're time. fucking geniuses. Yeah, next time we're doing it. That, that's, Game changer. That's too funny. Yeah. All right, but uh, anyway, that does it for today's podcast episode. We're about an uh, hour, 22 minutes in right now. Really? So, yeah. So about by the time I cut it, it's going to be like hour, 10 minutes or so from the, the nonsense. God. Mad Lips took forever then. Yeah, but I got to we'll piss like a that. racehorse, so I got to go. Uh, oh, beehive, baby. Beehive, baby. This piss is going to be glorious. 